and welcome back to the channel. Sure hope everybody's having an amazing day. Amazing day. It is absolutely beautiful today. But it's not going to last. We've got more rain coming. I know, you're probably sick and tired of me talking about more rain coming. But you know what? That affects every aspect of my life. It affects every aspect of me making a living. And it, is, and it affects my business dramatically. So yeah, the rain is really pissing me off. But, welcome back. It's your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. <laughs> I have to embrace the beautiful days, the gorgeous days, because I'm still only getting one or two or three days a week that I can work. The rest of the time, it's freaking raining. So I have to really get out there and hustle up the money. So today, I went to a place where I had uh, several previous customers, but they were individuals, and now the company itself called me and said, hey, we've got some damage to our trucks glass that we'd like to get taken care of as well. So I went out there. There was supposed to be, like, more than one. <laughs> But apparently there was only one truck truck in the yard, and that's fine. It's I still showed up, I still did the job, and I still didn't overcharge them. Um, I did a fantastic job. They were happy with that, and I might get my first company review, which would be awesome because I got to be honest. When you get corporations like that have fleets of vehicles you know, or a fleet of vehicles, and they give you a review basically saying, this is the only company we use because he does a good job and he's cheaper than everyone else and he does a better job, then that really helps a lot. Let me tell you, that helps a lot. So it's nice if they give me a review and if they don't okay you know a lot of people individuals will they'll be like oh yeah i'm going to give you a review i love that you did such a good job i'm so happy with the work i'm going to give you a five star review you can count on me and you never see anything from them like as soon as you walk off their property they forgot all about it and that's fine I don't expect to get a review from every single person I ask. But to get a company review? Oh yeah, that would be awesome. So I have several uh, small contracts, but they're not really contracts. It's not like I show up at a certain time or anything like that. They just call me when they have a couple of vehicles they need repaired, repairs done on. They just call me and I show up because I can usually get to them the same day or the day right after that. So they just call me and I show up. And that's the way I want to keep it. I don't want to be assigned to a certain day every week or a certain day every two weeks or a certain day once a month because you never know where the vehicles are going to be when you show up. You could show up, like say if they want you to come every Monday and check the vehicles. Well, then you show up on Monday and there's nobody there because they're all out using their vehicles. And there might be one vehicle and it don't have any chips in it. Now you've just wasted a bunch of time out of your day where you could have been making money. So I prefer to do the will call. Uh, just have them call me when they need me. And then I just show up, do the job, so this morning, there was supposed to be, I think, three or four trucks there. There was only one. Found out that two of the trucks ended up going to the tire shop to get new tires on them. And the fourth truck, the boss took. And he, he's the one that scheduled me. <laughs> but he took the truck because he had to go somewhere. And... So there was only one truck there for me to work on. But, you know, like I told the guy, I said, that's fine. 
you know, I'll go ahead and fix this one. That just frees me up a little bit of time to go find more work, that's all. Would have been nice to have gotten four repairs on one spot, though. That would have been beautiful. And sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. Either way you look at it, money's money. So, I got a long ride back to where I was beating the street the other day. Got a long ride back to there, and then I'll just start hammering businesses, handing out cards, drumming up business, getting work, so on and so forth. And I'll just keep doing it that way. Because I've said before, nobody's going to pay my bills but me. Now here's the thing. So for as much as I'm struggling, that's because I'm $55,000 in debt on motorcycles, $26,000 in debt on credit cards, I have personal loans, um, you know, plus I have all my normal bills to pay, like insurance for the business and insurance for the bikes and cell phone and rent and gas and business supplies and you know all this other stuff so somebody asked me is it really worth having your own business if you're struggling to pay your bills and i said when i was working i was still struggling to pay my bills the difference is i had a lot less bills yes i made I made less money, that's not a bad thing, I made good money for what I was doing, but I made less money, but I had less bills, and I was still struggling to pay my bills. So even though I make a lot more money now, I have a lot more debt and a lot more bills, so I'm still struggling to pay my bills. It doesn't matter, the struggle is real, it's here, I have to work through it and get to the point where my debt is greatly reduced because once my debt is greatly reduced if I'm still making the same money I'll actually be able to put money in the bank and save it so it's all relative to what your uh, to what your situation is now if you're living in if you make let's let's use this for an example say you make three thousand dollars a month and you live in a tent and you pay two hundred dollars a month for your spot for your tent and you ride the bus everywhere and a bus pass for the month costs fifty bucks so that's two hundred and fifty dollars out of that three thousand it still leaves you with 3750 or at 2750 that's what that leaves you with now if you have a cell phone you're probably paying 50 bucks a month for it so now you still have $2700 if that's all the bills you have you should easily be able to bank up money start putting money away you should be able to save at least 1500 or for that matter, 2000 a month, because I doubt very seriously if you're going to spend 700 a month on groceries. So you should be able to bank up. But if you have make $3,000 a month, and you have a $1,000 a month car payment combined with insurance, so let's say your car payment is 600 your insurance is four, that that'd be $1,000 a month. Now let's say you're paying $1,500 a month for rent, and that only leaves you 500 bucks, right? $500. And that doesn't include any of your other bills like your cell phone. So that's what I mean about it being relative. So even if I make 10 grand a month right now, I'm not saying I make that much, but if I did, my bills would be about 9500 a month because it takes money to make money and your first year is going to suck just like having dentures your first year is going to suck <laughs> so my first year in business 
is going to suck as I build up the business, work on getting more business and getting more income and getting debt reduced. Once I get debt reduced, that will um, equate to more income just because of the fact that I will be making a lot less credit card payments and stuff like that, which equates into more income. The more money you can save, the more income you have. So that's it for today. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.